fellow collectors, today we're going to be taking a look at Disney's Gargoyles Bronx, the ultimate action figure. So on the front we can see Bronx here and we get a notice that he includes Goliath's closed wings. I think I need some coffee or some water to clear out my throat. So on the side here we have Bronx growling or barking at something. On the back here we see Bronx again, Bronx again, Bronx again, Bronx with Goliath, and all the figures that we have in the line. So I'll bring this in a little bit closer. Please pause to read. Okay, on the side we see another Bronx picture. So if we turn it to the front, pop open the vinyl. The Velcro, we can see another picture of Bronx growling at you. On this side we see Bronx. Some I can't say exactly what it is, but we have an accessory there. We have an additional head, and we have Goliath's cape. So, as far as weight goes, if I can turn it on, we'll see that this guy comes in right at a pound seven ounces. So, let's get him out of the box and see how cool he is. Okay, now that we have him out of the box... We can see this guy is the Bronx we all know and love, the dog version of a gargoyle. And we can see him here. He does have this accessory of meat. Looks like it's been cooked. Now he has two versions. The Face, face that comes out is this big gnarling, growling one here. And odd enough, you can stick the meat inside his face so you can let him chow down on it. So if we get a closer look at the face here. See those teeth. A little bit of the pain apps. Kind of messed up there, but that's fine. And then we just flip it over. We see the the hole where the pet goes. And we'll go ahead and pull this guy in closer so we can get a good look at his mouth. Um, facey here, and we can see. Bronx is just that, a big old dog. Or is, is this the hound from Ghostbusters? Verdict still out. So if we go ahead and take a look at his legs here, we can see he gets pretty good movement out. He can do a split, believe it or not. And he knee goes in and out. And he has an ankle and a toe pivot. Even has a hole for the stand for each foot. All right. As far as the front feet go, forward, side, do that. Forward goes all the way around, has a bend in the knee, elbow, however you want to say it. And get ankle rotation and toe pivot just like the back. Okay, now if we look at this old neck of here, yeah, we see him rotating around just a little bit. Now that neck allows him to look left and right pretty good. He can look up a little bit and down, not so much, but he does have that face. Now the jaw does open up, whereas the other one is just a close, this one opens. A little bit, so you can see, get a look at that mouth there. It's not as much as I can really get it open. But 
it's always nice that they, they include that there. So as far as Bronx is concerned, he comes in at four inches tall. And we'll measure from the toe to the face is six inches. Now I said it came with Goliath's closed cloak. And here we can see it. So if we get a good look at that detail there. And it is a soft rubber cape to go around him. And it has the peg holes here to go on his back. So here is Bronx with a Marvel Legends figure as well as a DC Multiverse figure. And we see, see he does fit in with both, like most of the Gargoyles line does fit in with other um, Hasbro and DC Multiverse. So if you are collecting Gargoyles or any other collectibles, head on over to Entertainment Earth where my link below can save you 10% or give you free per, free shipping on order $79 or more. So until next time, guys, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.